Offworld Industries recently announced the addition of monetized emotes to Squad, a popular milsim that, according to the developers under previous management, would never have paid DLC or microtransactions. There has understandably been considerable negative backlash from the community following this announcement. And I'm here to tell you this isn't only bad for Squad, this is bad for milsims in general. Let's start with what OWI has done. They've added emotes, some they offer free, most they added behind a paywall. The emotes look pretty basic, and at first glance don't seem to offer any kind of advantage to the player for having them, and are simply cosmetic additions to the game. So what? It's not the first game to offer emotes. Some people love to have more options to express themselves in-game. What's the issue? The biggest issue is this. With adding additional paid content, OWI has set the precedent. They have essentially rolled out a microtransaction test run which if successful, will only lead to an increase in monetization across the game. This has many negatives. First of all, once a game becomes centered around in-game microtransactions, so too does the game's development. No longer will devs be looking to improve the game as much as possible. Instead, they'll be looking to improve the parts of the game that come with a price tag. This often leads to a divide in the community, especially if new maps are offered as paid DLC. In a game as relatively small as Squad, it feels like a huge risk to divide the community further and lock players out of parts of the game that realistically everyone should have access to. And for the record, paid maps are not out of the question and seem to absolutely be a possibility. Paid maps in particular also bring into question the existence of Squad mods. Any regular Squad player will tell you some of the best gameplay you'll get is not in the base game, but actually in a mod for the game called Middle Eastern Escalation. This mod is fairly substantial and offers things like new factions and new maps, the very same things an official DLC would offer. Battlefield titles of a modern generation have always strictly barred modding of any kind, as free mods reduce potential sales of paid DLC. I could absolutely see Squad taking the same route and forcefully removing the likes of Middle Eastern Escalation or Galactic Contention entirely, to the further detriment of the community. But this isn't just bad for Squad, this is bad for Milsims in general. First of all, it highlights the fact that even one of the biggest Milsims on the market that isn't free and does require an initial purchase of the game has financial issues and needs to turn to in-game monetization to stay afloat. This doesn't bode well for future development of the market. In addition, if this proves successful, Milsims of the future may pivot to entirely microtransaction-based services, which would be, in my opinion, to the detriment of quality gameplay and development. It's no secret that I play a game called Project Reality and hold it in much higher regard than Squad. I do this not just because Project Reality is entirely free, but also because I find the gameplay to be considerably better. So of course, to an extent, I don't particularly mind that OWI have taken its baby out back and popped a cap in the back of its head. But I do fear for the Milsim genre. Clearly this genre is not for everyone, and OWI were perhaps better place to release Squad, walk away from it, and begin work on Squad 2, going for the more traditional model of selling multiple games over continuing development on a single game. But if the future of Milsims is based around releasing games with content I can't have without paying even more for it, I don't see myself leaving Project Reality anytime soon. That being said, I understand where OWI are coming from. They've made a game and have opted to continue to develop it free of charge for the community, likely a decision that comes at the detriment of profits. I completely understand that a company needs money and the developers are unlikely to work for free. Unfortunately, for better or for worse, OWI up until now have been offering substantial squad updates free of charge, a management decision that is very hard to go back on further down the line. This isn't just true of squad, but of life in general. In the UK, for example, COVID tests were offered free of charge for years. Now COVID tests have a price tag, and in a not very shocking turn of events, no one wants to pay for something they used to get for free. A similar change like this in Squad does not bode well, both for its future and for ours. Are you a Squad fan? Are you worried your game will be reduced to an unplayable cash cow? where kids are 360 no-scoping you with their gold camo M24 in a full soldier bunny suit? Are you afraid people will stop playing the game for the teamwork and realism and start playing the game so they can unlock the dab emote and use it to soft flame other players and ruin the Milsim experience? Maybe it's time you let me know in the comments. Other than that, 
feel free to drop a like and subscribe. All the best, and I hope to see you in the next one. Fucking hell.